Everybody always wants to know what's inside a contract or, car, or a carpenter's. Uh, am I wrong? Everybody wants to know what's inside the trailer. You know, is it a pile of, of crap in there? You know, what's it look like? So this is how we have our trailer outfitted. A, uh, a carry-on trailer. We bought it years ago. It's immensely, immensely useful. We got it from, um, I can't remember the name of the company. Franklin Trailers. I knew it would come to me. Franklin Trailers. So how you use your cargo trailer is up to you. This um, is not set to go out anytime soon. Uh, I think it, it needs to be on site probably the next two weeks somewhere. So pretty much nothing's in here. It's just bare bones. But uh, I figured I'd give you a tour of how we outfitted it. We have, we have wide shelves here. We have shallow shelves on this side. We have uh, organizers back there. This is set to be a workhorse. We have a space here that holds our, our job box. So all we need to do is roll this out roll it down the ramp and on to the job you know if if the job is not secure in the evenings or when we're not there but we're, we're we're leaving the trailer on the job or even taking it with us all we need to do is roll the job box off at the job site boom back on the trailer you take it with us or lock it up and it's secure one of the other great features about the trailer how we outfitted it was it's wired for lights so all we need to do and uh I think we should we should show show everybody, Nick. What we have here is we have a Yamaha generator. This is how we roll, Nick. This is how we roll. So what we've done is we put two electrical inlets on the front of the trailer. One inlet, depending on how much juice we need. One inlet runs the lights, and then we throughout the trailer we have receptacles. There's some receptacles here in case we need to run the cords out. There's some up on top of the job box area, we can show you after, that could run small equipment or chargers. This is a, uh, this is a generator inverter, so it can run sensitive equipment. You know, maybe we'll use this for tailgating one time. We'll, we'll put the big flat panel TV on there when we want to tailgate the Philadelphia Phillies game. I don't know. And let's just say you needed an immense amount of power for, for, for receptacles only. You could even use two generators. Maybe what you need to run off the generator is too much. You know, you have too much stuff to charge or you're running something on the interior of that. And uh, it was just too, it's just too much draw for the lights and the receptacles. What you can do is just bring another generator here, over here and then plug it into two different inlets. But for demonstration purposes, we're all good with the one generator. So you run your cord here, plug it into the generators, that's a 20 amp circuit. Then you'd come over here, and Nick, if you come down, you can see. These are, these are inlets. Instead of a standard receptacle, you then get your, your extension cord and then plug it directly in here. You plug that in, and it feeds power to the trailer and the trailer receptacles and lights. So once you're all plugged in, all you gotta do is turn your fuel on, right? Put your choke on, and then you gotta pull a rip cord, you know, to start this thing. Psych, I'm not doing all that. All I do is I turn the key, push my choke in, and this thing's running. This great generator. It actually has pretty much an on-demand system where as we use more power, the generator will, will cycle up and provide what we need up to its, up to its you know, 3,000 watts. But it stays nice and quiet uh, when it's really not in use. So now, boom, lights are on inside the trailer, right? Pretty yeah. cool. I think nice. you come around the back, Nick. When we're going to a specific job site, We'll outfit this trailer, we'll put on here what we need, and uh, when we're not using it, we'll, we'll, we'll unload into the, into the shop. But um, 
you know, we're working evenings, nights. A lot of times we're doing overnight work. This might be parked um, with a tow vehicle in, in a you know sh suburban shopping mall or whatever, and we need to be in here doing some type of work or whatever it is. We're finding stuff, whatever it is. We're well lit. We have plenty of lights. We don't need guys. We don't need guys running around with flashlights. We, we have a lighting solution here. On top of the up, on top of the workbench area, you see we have a quad here. There's a quad over there. You know, and it's just for accessible. It's just for having power accessible here. You know, um, there's a quad by the back door in case we we need it. Run straight out, and then there's another quad, I believe, by that back door over here. Right here. There's switching. <laughs> we ran we ran a three-way switch this way to come in the the rear door. If you're coming in the rear door. You just flip that switch over there, right? But uh, let's just say you need to open the side door. You don't need to lower that that big roll, you know, roll down door. Boom, we have a switch here as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Us Italians, if we come in, you know, the other thing is, if we come in the back door, we have to leave by the back door. We can't, like, come in the back door and then leave this door. It's bad luck. Okay? No. But you didn't know that, Nick? Yeah. One of the other cool features about this trailer is we use Baker Scaffold a lot. We need an ability to, to stack neatly and orderly three sections of Baker Scaffold and outriggers uh, from job site to job site because we're constantly, you know, using it. We don't have all three sections in here, but there's two sections right now. I believe there's a, a section on another job, but you can see the ladders, the ladder sections fit down into two, right? And then the the um, platforms fit in between. So it all holds nice and securely in there. The the um, the rails, what they do is, you can see these pieces of uh, square tube, top and bottom, they're drilled so that they meet up with the pins. That's pretty cool. Right? So all you do is you slide it on there, slide it on there, it locks into place. All you have to do is go to Warner. Warner, they have, uh, they sell this contraption. So like, we custom made that. We welded it all together. We, we, we made this, okay? Warner, if you're watching, we have a patent on it. Don't try to make it now, okay? Here, this is made to hold organizers. So this was custom made to fit this style organizer. We could do a review on these. These things are awesome. So when you have multiple organizers, you can clip them together. Okay, carry it, carry two, three organizers by one handle. It's awesome. But the organizers that we need right now, you know, we don't we don't need them on the trailer. We need them in the shop. We're not working out of the trailer. Once we do, <clears throat> we are going to go to a job. We'll we'll put whatever organizers we need in this vehicle and tow them to the job. Listen, if you guys have any other questions about the trailer, how it's outfitted, you know, how we how we lit it, how we ran the outlets, you know, leave the comments down below. Let us know. Let us know what you think of of our our cargo trailer. Uh, if you like this video, we hope you've given it a like. Comment, please, and subscribe. If you dislike this video, I don't know. Maybe I kind of am a little unpleased with how messy it is in here right now. You know, you, you could dislike it for that reason if you like. Is that possible? Dislike it if you like. And as always, thanks a lot, and have a great day.